Freedom to me is a society and a world we're still working for. Freedom of mind, freedom of speech, freedom to be oneself. They exist, but to what extent? Is there a cost to freedom like Marla Glenn said? A cost of love. We are told we are free. We are told we can be and to be ourselves. But our society, the ones we live in and the many societies we exist in and have made for ourselves, are we free in those? Can you go outside in an outfit that truly expresses you, no matter how loud or colorful it is, hold the hand of the one you love regardless of gender, disability, or race, and know with confidence that you won't be judged or stared at or called out. If no, then how can society be a place of freedom? What is the response to BLM in your area? Um, one of the responses is um, through the W12 Together um, charity who have been doing um, some sorts of uh, events online on Zoom about uh, Black Lives Matter and showing um, the community what it means. What is your favorite thing about White City? My favorite thing about White City is that uh, we are one. We are one community. Uh, all, all different backgrounds come together. What are your thoughts on George Floyd? Um, my thoughts on George Floyd is that he was um, killed uh, wrongly, and uh, it was a difficult time. What are your thoughts on the BLM movement? Um, my thoughts on Black Lives the movement is uh, that they shouldn't stop and it shouldn't be like a one period where on, for example, social media it was trending for maybe a month and everyone forgets about it. But then once we forget about it, everyone's going to forget about it and we can't let that happen. We have to let it carry on going. Black Lives Matter means to me being able to live in a world where we are not scared, we're not worried that we might walk down the street and not be able to get to the end of the street. We won't be, we won't be worried about someone calling out to you because of how you look, the colour of your skin. That's what it means to me. What is the response to BLM in your area? In my area, so Shepherds Bush, I don't know particularly what's happened in Shepherd's Bush, but I'd say the response with my friends and the community I'm a part of, I've noticed my friends are starting to educate themselves a lot more. Sort of, a lot of them are like, they're happy to see people are finally starting to listen. Um, it's, it's been a positive response overall, and I hope that keeps happening. Um, and the same with my school and the response there, as a lot of pe people, peers that, are, that um, I um, train with in my school, a lot of people are being able to realize that maybe they could do something to help, sign petitions, donate, educate themselves, read books, um, and then improve the industry, like the drama industry especially. That's a response I think that's I've noticed a lot during the few, past few months. What is your favorite thing about White City? <laughs> um, I can't say I have like a favorite place because I don't come up here this uh, often, but I really like the park that I will cut, cut through to come to here, um, Ham Hammersmith Park, I believe. It's um, it's just really nice, especially when it was sunny. Um, it's just a really peaceful park. What are your thoughts on George Floyd? Um, I'd say when I first saw the video, there's so many like different angles of when he um, police was on his neck and watching that, and it's like you can't comprehend like someone's actually like that is like human on the floor, 
with another human on his neck. It just, someone had to go through that and a family had to go through that and many other families have gone through similar situations and I'm glad it sparked such outrage because we shouldn't be having to do this in 2020. Um, but it's also, I think, the best time for it to happen because everyone has more time to think about their actions, how they respond to something like George Floyd, and it's given a lot of people more time to think and also more time to educate themselves on these matters. What are your thoughts um, on the BLM movement? I think it's a long time coming. This should, um, I'm, it's such a good feeling to see so many protests and see across the world people like trying, like doing their bit to help out and do what they can to hopefully at some stage eradicate this, um, sit, like Matt, this issue. But the movement itself, um, I think it's good, it's such a big focus now. And I hope people don't see it as a trend because it's people's lives and lives aren't trends. <laughs> And yeah, I just, it's something that needs to keep being pushed. Mask, I don't want anyone to see who I really am. I need to protect myself. Take it off, let me go, free to be. You can't hide a face. Hides my insecurities. Skin, our melon is what stands out. Brown, beautiful. It holds together. Dark and lovely, mine to love. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Glaring loudly, can I trust you? I want to, but you lie. Lies, greed, propaganda, deceit. Netflix and chill. Bring it back 